Hello my soccer universe. Day of work is done, lots of programming and now in the evening I can have fun doing a video. I did not post today because I actually had quite some stuff to do. So uh, I know this will post not on the 1st of July but probably 2nd of July and I might have another 2nd of July video for you. But let's see, you know, it was good to take a little bit off uh, the video making and so on and catch up with other things because you know it's starting up again quarterfinals are upon us and that's why we're gonna review the eight matchups of the round of 16 overall feeling um, not that it I think almost none of the matchups were unexpected so I mean there was no curveball really thrown and the one matchup that is really really bad uh, is more down to the jerseys involved than that this was so unexpected. Uh, I think I almost guessed all of them. The only one was Italy, Austria, where I had the worst of fears. In the end, it turned out rather well, but I will tell you more about that one when we get there. Uh, when I made those ratings or the rankings, I was actually quite surprised. I mean, I still have my four uh, categories. Uh, awful, <laughs> uh, really bad and awful than expected, but bad slash boring, where we have a few in there. Uh, basically, you know, uh, monocolored matchups that uh, are dragged down by bad templates or you know there's nothing exciting there that falls in that category then expected but good uh, matchups that you know um ov overall yeah it's nothing exciting but at least it looks good and then comes the great category where we have nothing in there this time around because i think we missed a big chance there at least one of the matchups so this is how i've been going through this and we're gonna start with the Awful category where I again I have only one matchup really in there and that is Croatia against Spain. Uh, not only is the Croatia away jersey, I mean it's two away kids, which immediately puts this kind of in a low category. But I understand because Croatia's home and Spain's home clash. Even if you put the Croatia home, then with the Spanish away that doesn't work. Um, I would argue the Spanish home, if they play in all red, could work, but then kind of home field advantage goes. So I expected it to be the two away kids against each other. However, I already find the Spanish one, especially as worn with long sleeves here, a rather dull affair with like a little bit silver, a little bit red thrown in there. Uh, really, really, really bad. And then the Croatian one, you know that I hate. So that's really in the awful category. Moving on to the next one, the expected but bad or boring. I have England Germany as the first one in there because I really hate the white against black matchup. Um, I know that those German kits are to many people's tastes, it's not to mine, and paired with the white of England, it just I don't know. I the, uh, it looks a bit lifeless. I mean, I think a Germany kids could look well if an opponent plays in a different color than white. But yeah, and to me, uh, England, Germany should always play England in red, Germany in white. And, you know, uh, then with white pants for England and black for Germany. So I think already from that point, I was really, really disappointed. And I knew that my dream match was not going to happen this time around uh that england again is playing in all white and they might as well play the entire tournament in all white i know this is an england look that has been popular late lately i still like to see my navy pants with an england uh jersey it's just me probably but um this could have been better uh the next one is also one that fall i mean I don't think that the jerseys per se are uh, bad, but um, Wales, Denmark, the Denmark away jersey, it's really nothing special. It's just a white shirt with a, with Hummel chevrons run, run down, a little bit of blue here, and then a sound wave pattern over. Um, nothing special. Still, these ones are sold, sold out because I am afraid that the Denmark jersey that I ordered will not arrive already requested a refund and I have been looking at other Denmark jerseys and I thought yeah, man, let's get the current ones there's no way they are 
uh, so loud everywhere so loud everywhere so you know i'll stick with the one denmark jersey that i have hanging back there and yeah um sorry i feel a little bit sorry because i actually really would have liked to have a second denmark jersey because i think they will be doing well but you know uh i'm also not that crazy about the Wales shirt um Although it has some nice features, I think it could also look more exciting and that's why I put them in this category. And the other one that was boring, and this is mainly down to the Switzerland jersey, is yeah, France Switzerland. I love the French jersey. However, you know, I would like it better if it had white pants and then puts red pants on Switzerland. And actually, despite the awful Swiss away jersey, this matchup would have ranked really, really, really high. Uh, what saves this one from, you know, this is really uh, boring. This is borderline goal going up is that the French were wearing red socks, which gave it a little bit more life in there. But then on the other hand, it's dragged down by the Swiss jerseys. Although the Helvetica uh, font kind of saves it a teeny bit, but you know. Blue against white. Yeah, it's in monocolored it just it didn't excite me although the game was really 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 exciting and then we get already in the last category which is expected but good and the last contender is the is and you know some might argue why isn't that uh, together with the france switzerland uh, it's the Netherlands and the Czech Republic. I honestly think this one is a little bit better because there's a little bit more color on the Czech Republic jersey and orange is such a strong color. Orange against white works very well to me, even if the jersey here is paired with black. And then the Czech jer jersey featuring a little bit of red, featuring a little bit of blue, makes it a whole lot more interesting to me th uh, than the Swiss jersey. And that's why then the higher category. We are moving to the last three and I have Belgium, Portugal, right up there wearing belgium by the way um and i have criticisms on both jerseys you know i do not like this portugal away jersey but i have to say uh this was probably the best thing about that game maybe the goal but torgen hazard but the game itself was not great uh but i have to say the jersey matchup was a little bit refreshing and despite being monocolors red against this turquoise but i think in that case the portugal jersey saved it a little bit also that the belgium jersey is actually kind of wild with the black uh brush strokes on there and then a little bit yellow it actually salvaged that matchup although the jerseys by themselves i will not rate as super great especially the portugal jersey which is as egg again i really do not like it by itself but as a composition i have to say it actually worked so it's my the third best matchup in this round which leaves us with two and the second to last is of course italy against austria which with a one simple change would have been the best jersey matchup in this entire round. And the simple change would be Italy in white pants and Austria in black. I, and let me get this. I mean, I do not like Austria, your Yorta with the red and the black pants. I think it's always a little bit jarring. However, since this Austria jersey is made to kind of look like this traditional sweater vest with the lederhosen, the black pants serving as lederhosen actually make this a really good look. One that actually makes sense. And then Italy in the navy pants, I cannot get used to this look. Um, I would like to have this seen in white. However, this is still rank, rank high because what well, this was one of only two matchups where one team didn't wear white. This was blue against red which in many cases to me is probably the best color matchup possible and we have austria also not at least one team is not in monocolors italy per se is also monocolors but it's two tones of blue against each other uh, uh on the jer uh, jersey but austria is in red white red which makes it look interesting and so i have to have to say despite me uh moaning the entire game why well, i said no not with the white pants why is austria not black this was probably one of the best matchups in my opinion of the entire round and the game was also not that bad so good on you which leaves my favorite matchup which is also not in the super category because it's two monocolored uh teams but yellow against blue looks good and i have to say that the blue of the ukraine the light blue looks really 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 nice so overall i have, have to say this was probably 
Yeah, you see it. It's my favorite ma matchup in, in the round of 16. The match was also much better. Uh, it was totally expected that it went this way, but it still looked good. Yes, I would have preferred uh, Sweden maybe to play in the navy pants and the Ukraine donning um, yellow to kind of really make a flag out of it. I understand that this way it is easy to distinguish the two teams. So yeah, um, it is just that it is an unusual color combination and those stick out for me. Whenever we get something unusual, uh, it usually ra ranks ranks of high C. Belgium against Portugal as well. So yeah, this was my ranking for this round of 16. I think the jersey matchups uh, were kind of dull most of the time, so I hope it will get better in the quarters, although I don't really see it at this moment that it will get a whole lot better. But I have some hope for Belgium against Italy, to be honest. In any case, let me know which matchups you liked. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, just in case you enjoyed this video, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider following me on social media and actually subscribe to my channel so that you stay updated with everything that happens in my sofa universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.